following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, first day of March, March 1. We've wrapped up the month of February with the candle that we wanted to see how we closed. We can talk about that in a moment. Let's just run the numbers so we've got everything in sync. So we've got minus 261 in the Dow at 33,626. A uh, really big move from 32,272 just four days ago, up to 30, uh, uh, 34,095 in two sessions, Thursday and Friday. Monday actually started off really weak, and then there was a rally. I think it's the exact opposite today. We're rallying up. I think that we might end weak because... You've got to put this in the geopolitical economic perspective. How can you not do that? When you think of this, think of one, think of it uh, when I'm traveling, if we're on the road, wherever it is, it's on the turnpike in Massachusetts, uh, I-90, or we, we get to uh, 84, going to Connecticut, go to uh, 90, uh, what, 91, then 95, all the way to New York. Whenever we see the traffic backed up, that's if we are not backed up. And for a while, we haven't really been backed up. But we've seen a lot of traffic on, going in the opposite direction. And I, I, I said to my wife, wow, I've been going two miles. And the traffic is just backed up. And most of the time, you're seeing every third vehicle is a, is a truck. And it goes on. Sometimes it can go on for three to four, five miles. And you're just amazed. You say, wow, this is... Can you imagine a convoy? I remember yesterday at some point there was talk about, or maybe it was Sunday, 11-mile uh, contingent of vehicles, and I, I guess they tankers, tanks or whatever, um, in U the U Ukraine. And now you, you hear 40 miles. 40 miles, I believe I might, I might be wrong by a little bit, but 40, mi 40 miles would be the circumference of Route 128, 95. That is south and north. Uh, yeah, south and north. Uh, so that's the circumference of the semicircle that envelops the greater Boston area. Can you imagine if there were just vehicles? So I don't know what this market is thinking, uh, only being down now 300 points. When, there is a chance that the conflagration is going to get a lot worse. The humanitarian uh, aspect is going. So all I can say is I understand how crude oil can be up over 100. It's 102.07. I can understand why if I'm looking at the uh, agricultural, uh, I, I don't want to go through it again, but just exactly what the Ukraine has. Ukraine has 40 million people. And there's an incredible amount of resources. So the DB Agricultural Fund, which is trading at 21.28, up 35 cents, something that uh, we, we've owned since the 13s, uh, back in uh, July 2020. Um, you can understand why these, look at this wheat. Wheat at a new recovery high. It's, in, it's at 9.84. Uh, this is leg E in the Chapman Wave methodology. Uh, in the daily, it's an AD in the weekly, and it's only GCSC in the monthly. Look at soybean. Uh, this is a continuous contract of soybean. Made a peak E in, a, in the one, uh, seven, at the 1738, was it? No, higher than that. 1754 level. No, even that's wrong. Seven, uh, can't be 16. What am I doing here? Oh, I moved it by mistake. Sorry. So you're looking at the high of 1760. Let's call it, and it plummets down to the 14 period moving average at about uh, 1579, and then it bounces, but it's up in the highs and it's broken the cup formation, left side, right side, price, time match, soybean continuous contract is an egg B in the monthly chart. 
I mean, what are we thinking here? We're looking at um, the corn at 725. This is not a leg G. To me, this looks like a brand new leg C to the upside in the daily. Leg G says C, maybe it's G says C in the monthly. Only a leg C in the monthly. And you see this letter here, you see this B? That's before corn, I don't know whether it split the contract, I don't know what it did, but at some point it was right here at, in the seven, 700 area, and then it got reconfigured, and now we're in leg C at 725. So that's this incredible move that it's had since, uh, since about the, the 180 level way back in 2020. So I'm, the way I'm looking at this is, yes, we are long, uh, a vehicle within the NDX 100, but that's because of the extremely oversold condition and some kind of a bounce is likely. Oh, Larry says wheat is limit up. Oh my goodness, wheat is limit up. Um, and that means, let's just say there's a, there's a reversal of fortune this, at some point today. And it opens and it just suddenly is limit down. It's still way above the median. I consider the 864 level, 8, 859 to 864, kind of, that's, that's kind of any retracement. That would be a pretty good retracement, but that would still say it's still much higher than the lows. Just two months ago, of the 200, right? I love to look at this. Look at this, the 200 period moving average, just as an icon, just as a vehicle, a trading vehicle, a tool that I always use, I like to use for subscribers to, to intimate that if something goes towards or underneath and starts getting closer and closer, this 200 period moving average becomes a repellent or a propellant line so many times. So back in around about the 13th of September of last year, it hits in the 17, 700 area, and look, it goes peak A, B, C, the, the letters move because it gets smoothed out. Uh, e, F, alternate count B, G, alternate count C, and then it goes to the requisite D in the Chapman Wave methodology. D's, look, the last time was a peak D high as well, back in August, right there, and then there was a sharp pullback. Um, I haven't got these automated Steve Rhodes that hasn't done nice, has done a very nice job of automating, but the, the subtleties of the Chapman wave is the reason why I do it still by hand. Uh, so peak D and pulls back where to? To three times hit, four times actually, 200 period exponential moving average, and then rallies to leg D, doesn't hold back, it does have a big pullback, and rallies to leg E today. So all I can say is that to, to dismiss and say that the market can independently find its footage, this is our market, I think yes, if you're looking at sectors, but no, if you're looking at the general, uh, the general overlay of the market, because there is just, with crude oil going this high, it really is an issue. All right, let's get back to our story. And we, so the DBA, as I say, is doing very well. That's the DBA Agricultural Fund. Let's just go back to our, what we're looking at. I'll just do this quickly. S&P is down 27 to 46. So that Chapman Wave Roman candle right at the top at 48.1862 three months ago said to me, just be real careful because if the market goes halfway into the wick in a shorter time frame, you could test the lower range and break it. Well, we've done that and we're almost I think we can almost call this a second Chapway Roman candle. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Dow's down to uh, um, 277. We're looking at the gold up 21. This is always uh, when I uh, every time I've looked over for the last, uh, I'd say the last week, looking over at gold, I'm a little surprised because I still consider it as a, um, an icon of fear. It's the go to place uh, geopolitically and economically. Uh, from countries and, and, and banks and, and really big players. Uh, and, and they're the ones that really move the price at times like this. And yet gold is not uh, testing the 1976 high that was made just four days ago. Uh, let me just double check. I said, no, I'm doing that by memory. Let's see if memory is holding correctly. Mm -hmm. Yep, 1978. Oh, no, what did I do no, 1976.5, correct. So I would have expected that gold would be much, much higher. Um, why? Because if it was the go-to place, then I would anticipate that in some sense, uh, the safe haven places, I always say that uh, when equities become volatile, meaning they go down in, in Wall Street parlance, uh, money tends to flow to the safety of bonds. It hasn't done that for quite a while now. I did a little bit briefly in the last few days. But so gold to me is a say it, it's a hedge in many ways. So the fact that it's come back off the highs today and it's lower than the highs of yesterday, and yet the Ukraine situation is getting, uh, I wouldn't say a worse, I'd say very much worse in the sense that the the general populace, I don't know about the army per se, I don't know about the army at all, but the general populace, you can train as much as you want, but you're not try, training with the ammo and the, the, you're not in the vernacular of army. You're not using the terminology, you're not using the strategy, you're not using this incredible equipment. So that says to me, either this is going to wrap up really quickly and it's going to be, I mean, you know, well, Zelensky say, hey, I can't let my people die like this. Um, we are surrounded and we have to, we give up. All oh, there's just an incredible uh, um, amount of tactical moves. And my, my, my thinking for a while now is, why didn't they blow up the road 
so that you stall these guys. Uh, you've got 40 miles stalled and the engines are running. Where are they going to get the gas from? I mean, a whole bunch of strategies. Hey, I'm not, a, this is not my area of uh, anything. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking out loud here. So gold is going to be telling us something. Crude oil, crude oil is telling us about a situation that is, it's virulent because you know, there's only a limited supply of crude. We, we've cut back, you know, all, every day, even now, uh, there's talk about cutting back. And so the vulnerability of many countries, because of the lack of uh, potential of, of getting oil, we've got to consider and that's really probably what's going on. The whole strategy of getting the oil out if, if Putin, I don't know if he can even afford to do that. How can you have 40 miles of, of tanks and you, you, you're going to um, um, not get the money that you need by cutting back on oil supplies? I don't know how that's going to work. So this is a complex situation. And I just think that at this point, I admire the market for being as, as resilient as it is our market at this particular point. I just don't know how long that's going to last. Normally, I would have said, hey, buy signal, beautiful pattern. Look at this in the Dow. This is exactly what you want to see for a takeoff. You've, you've got three sessions uh, that after the Thursday low that really had the V-shaped pattern. And even if it stalls today, if there's a sudden move into the 34,141 area, up 500 points, oh, no, 34,000. Uh, yeah, so about about five six hundred points from here, that would be spectacular action. But at this particular point, you have to think that it's very select. And I'm going to go back to say NDX 100. Uh, this is holding way. Look at this, holding way better. It's up 18 points, and, and that's the reason for subscribers. We have a position in a um, an ETF that's based on select QQQ NDX 100 stocks because I think. You got to separate things out at this particular point. Now, talking about separate, first of all, uh, the dollar is the dollar holding up well because it's American economy is still one of the strongest economies in the world. Look, all, all the the news events that are coming out regarding the um, uh, regarding the economy so far. <laughs> So this is not a recession. This is still pretty good. And you can understand why the Fed, on the one hand, would love to raise rates. On the other hand, they are terrified of scaring the market. So that's it. That's another thing altogether. We'll get there in a moment. So I am looking at this and saying dollars holding well. Gold is not, it hasn't really broken out in, on a short term basis. Yes, it's, it's in the breakout area, but it hasn't yet broken out. Question about the GDX. GDX, um, look at this. The monthly chart says, what conflict? What are you looking at? What, what are you thinking about? Gold? This is nothing. Ha! Huh. GDX starts to trade from 35 into the 43 area. Then you've got something. And that can happen very quickly. It hasn't happened yet. And I do call this a leg D in the weekly chart. Still, the technicals are not bad. Look, the stochastic hasn't even gone above 80%. It's at 72%. Does that give it room to go higher? It certainly does. But look, even here on the daily, the, the technicals are really mixed. But that nine over the 14 period moving average is a, is a sense of really good uh, strength. So uh, GDX is up 91 to 35.30. Good, good, uh, good action. And if you're looking at the individual stocks, they are actually now moving very nicely. So that's that's the GDX. A key support will be in the 33s. If it closes under 3270, something's going on that's really weak. But at this point, it hasn't done anything like that. Just quickly, silver. Silver is trading up very strongly. It always plays catch up to gold. Then all of a sudden, the chart looks a little bit better. And as it looks better, that's when they all tumble down together. But in the meantime, You've got a, whoa, whoa, oh, that is a leg, a new leg C because that went underneath the last low. So the Chapman wave, it's a restart. New leg C, good action, 24.95, up 0.58 cents today. Weekly chart improving, monthly chart doesn't look very good at all. Now let's do this high grade copper. I, I just wanted to show you something else in the meantime, if I can click on it, there it is. EUR, USD, this is the euro dollar currency pair. There's the dreaded H pattern, goes up, comes back down, took out the left side low. So this is actually a brand new leg B to the downside. That's A, that's B, all right? And it's a leg D in the monthly chart. And there's this trend line. Remember, we spoke about it for, for months, how this trend line inside track propellant zone 
It went under it, went over it again, and now it's coming back to retest it. 1.10 is a really key support in the euro dollar currency pair. And I want you to do high grade, uh, high grade copper, high grade copper, holding very nicely. If you put this together with wood, the iShares Global and Timber, uh, um, Global Timber ETF, you got to say to yourself, good gracious, uh, whatever the expression could be. Um, how how they're holding so well uh, internationally? This is a sign that internationally economies were actually doing a little bit better. And uh, wood is down 44 cents at 87.72, stuck between a trading range for now. We'll call it between a 91, and I'd, I'd even say 84. Goes below 84. That's a big part. So there's a lot to discuss. Oh, steel stocks. Look at this SLX. This is the steel. Oh my goodness, steel safety. Why on earth is steel moving up so strongly? That's a cyclical. Is it a late cyclical? And the things have really turned? I'll talk about it when I get back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hi, folks. I'm just trying to find you the steel. I did re read about steel with the Ukraine, largest iron exporter in the world. So iron's not steel, but I, there's a relationship there. Um, I don't quite get it. All I can say is that why is steel rallying like this? Unless uh, either I, I did some work looking at it historically once. I think it was in 2008 when the market was making lows. 
still had gone higher for a little while longer after the 2007 October top. So maybe as a late cyclical, that's kind of what happens. I, I, I mean, all I can say is that, look at this, X is uh, U.S. Steel, fabulous move up. It's up again to that 3.27% at 28.10. Uh, look at that all-time high, uh, not all-time, but the most recent major high about seven months ago was just over 30. This is a fantastic, look at the CLF, uh, this is Cleveland Cliffs. This is flat rolled steel, iron, iron ore pellets, iron, there's the iron. Aha, uh -huh. so maybe that's the nervousness that maybe through the re Ukraine, uh, producing less, they, we're going to have to produce more. Maybe that's it. Well, it's acting beautifully in beautiful cup formation. Leg D underneath the previous high. I've been watching this very closely. It's up 4%, up 0.90, up 23.28. All right. So a couple of things that we want to look at. Question came in. Can I look at Bitcoin? Yeah, Bitcoin is up about 1900 Yep, 1960 Having another a gap up. No, having a gap up session off the spectacular turnaround yesterday from the 37,000s into the 42,000 level. Now it's at 43,995. Uh, the high today is 45,110. What I say to subscribers today is that there's a chance that Bitcoin has found a place just in this particular environment as a, not just a cryptocurrency, but a, a vehicle of trans, a, a transmission electronic transmission that allows um, money to trans be transferred, people to people, but country to country. And at this particular time, before things clamp down, maybe this is the way it's going to be. And this, in a sense, if this really works for the cryptocurrency, this would be another feather in its cap to say there's a legitimate reason. I remember hearing, listening, coming back from New York once, we were listening for about an uh, 40 minutes, a long time, an interview with Armstrong, the young man that started um, Coinbase, C-O-I-N. It was really absolutely fascinating. I remember one of the things he said, if you want to uh, go, uh, if you want to go start a business, the best thing that you can have is for somebody to find you. And he was lucky to find someone who was just exactly the perfect fit for what he was trying to do after speaking to hundreds of people who just dismissed him. Uh, Coinbase Global Inc., it's up uh, $8 and 198.67. So it is a gap up. We've got to watch this closely because this could pull back. Uh, the day is young, as I like to say. Um, it's important to, to see because if, the, if, if, Bitcoin, if Bitcoin actually starts to move above the 200 period moving average of 45,781, which it hasn't been able to do since back in January when it traded there for a while and then went right and it treated it as a fulcrum going up and down and up and down, kept coming back like a magnet until it broke away. So if it starts to trade, trade, it can't just go once. It's got to trade for about a week. It's got to have two or three sessions nicely above the 45,780 level. That's going to say, finally, Bitcoin is back in play, but it's back in play as a some form of sub-currency. When I say sub-currency, obviously it's a kind of a currency, but I mean sub under the uh, auspices of your traditional dollar, yen, etc. So this is going to be very important and will start to legitimize this as a form of cryptocurrency, a medium that in its own right, and that's really what it's been wanting to do for a long time, in its own right has validation for all those people that are saying, oh, it's just, a, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing, it's really something very big, and it's really an alternative for a lot of, for a, an alternative vehicle, let's put it that way, for many players, and the players could be just locals, and it could be countries. All right, so then we got that out of the way. I want you to also get to uh, bonds. So yeah, we are 158 and 21 30 seconds up a dollar, almost almost two dollars. This is what we've been talking about, and I've been saying for ages, what happened to the traditional uh, fluctuation between? Uh, I, I don't want to call it interest rates. I'm just rather call it bonds, 
and the market, when the market starts to weaken. My, the history for me is that all of a sudden what you see is money start to flow out. It migrates from the, the weakness of stocks and it goes into the so-called safety of bonds and bonds start to rise, yields start to come down and eventually it goes back again. So that's like a, the risk trade is off. It's going into actually a different risk trade because when you think 152 to 158 in just the blink of an eye uh, in bonds, uh, we're talking that, that that's like a stock. So it isn't quite the safety of bonds in the sense that it doesn't move. It does move. All right. So I got that out of the way. Now, what I want to say is that the TLT is telling me it's in leg C. Remember the TBT? I said, aha, we had Earl uh, from Seminole calling the other day, and I said, you know what? I'm thinking that it's safer that you take some of your profits in the TBT because even though Powell is going to have to do something, the chances are that just in this particular period with market weakness, with uh, Powell probably giving a, def a, a little bit more finite uh, statement saying we are going to do this, maybe 50 cents initially or 25, but a promise of 50 cents next. He's going to do some kind of uh, uh, 50 basis points, I should say. He's going to do something. And once the market knows it's something, then at least it puts a little bit, you know, I always say market uh, works on uncertainty every day. It's uncertainty about uncertainty just once removed and you have a problem with the markets. So that's what we're looking at. If there's a little bit of a certainty in the bond market, it just alleviates the worry there. Now you can worry about other things like uh, World War Three. who the hell knows? Uh, hopefully nothing even close. So that's that. And I want you to do a couple of other things. I want you to look at, oh, I've got a bunch of questions. Yes, I'll do that. Look, CVX, that is a Chevron. Breaks out. This is a massive move up to up 5.46 at 149.44, up 3.77 percent. When you realize just how, um, and I'm going to call this a G slash. Look, that's that's a peak A, gray peak A, B, C, D. And it's just for now, I'm going to call it a D. I can change that. Um, and it's an E in the. That's a daily and E in the weekly. When you think. Uh, the kind of capital that Chevron has to be able to move like this over the last two days, that is money being put to work that is incredible. Uh, I mean, to move stocks this high, you have to have a fear factor and you do. So that's that Exxon the question about Exxon. Exxon is also up sharply. It's up not as sharply. It's up 1.27. Actually, no, this is not performing as well. And if you look at COP, which I had a question about, which is uh, Conica Phillips, that is having a nice move, a little breakout there. So, um, yeah, the whole oil sector is. is up. So I'll be back in a moment. Basil Capital Dow is down 378. Oof, not nice. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We've got Boss calling from the United Kingdom. Hi, Moz. How are you? Hello, Basil. This is Mozam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You would like to look at the group that's just been, I don't like to use the word anymore, on fire, but they've been like rocket ships. Whoops, I don't want to use the word rocket ships either. Uh, Lockheed Martin, right? LMT, Security and Aerospace uh, Research, Design, Develop, Manufacture, Tech Systems, Identify a Five Potential. Uh, that's what I wrote from the from when I Googled it uh, a while back. Uh, trading up today, 16.75, up 3.86% 3 at 450. I have to chuckle because I have a really good friend. He works for Raytheon. He's Mr. Peace Love. I mean, talking about peace. He is Mr. Peace himself, wonderful guy. And here he is, I mean, with Raytheon, under these conditions, Raytheon also is soaring to the sky. It is at up a dollar five at 103.73. I don't know what I can tell you about this. It's just um, obviously this is the whole. Uh, uh, this is this is what I would have expected from gold, but this this is more realistic because these are the guys that are involved totally in the whole area of um, uh, um, our geopolitical security. So, have you got a position? Uh, yes, yeah, so I did take a position at the close uh, yesterday. I'm about 20 bucks into it, uh, positive. Um, just wanted to see what sort of wave uh, uh, structure do you have for this because uh, it has made uh, new highs. Uh, I think it made all-time new highs today. So the most important thing is the pattern that I call the rectangle formation. You can see this in the weekly, and I made it not the very big from the outside, 429.52 high of the 1st of uh, the February a year ago, uh, two years ago, February of 2020, plummets down to 266.11, March, uh, March of 2020. Then it rallies sharply higher to about 419 and then it pulls back to 320 and then it sets itself up for the lowercase h. You can see it right here, makes a lowercase m, holds at a higher high, almost like an inverted in shoulders, just for this particular pattern that I'm talking about, and then breaks out above the arch high, the first one and the second one, and then the all-time high. I, to, to be honest, I have to call this a leg B in the monthly. I, 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 I didn't really want to think of it as a leg B in the monthly because that says it should still go to a C and a D over the year 2022. And at the same time, the, the weekly chart is in a leg D and the monthly chart is just broken out. There's no other way I can count it. Well, I could, but I'm going to count it right now as a leg C. The MACD is screened to the upside. Stochastics are very high at 88%. On balance volume is a tad overbought, but that's all you can say. Overbought doesn't mean to say it has to. Uh, decline, but it is somewhat uh, overbought. So I like this. I'm just uh, I'm suspecting right now this particular pattern has two outcomes that to me are very bullish. One is that it has just a minor pullback for a peak C, 
It doesn't take out today's low of 435 round number low. Instead, what it does is it pulls back and very quickly goes to D. And then it either has an Eiffel Tower sudden plunge, looks like an uppercase A, straight up and then straight down. I think that's unlikely. Or it has a big consolidation between, the say, the 460s. It could even go a little higher. And maybe the 440s. And I put in a big rectangle and it says, you know what? It's broken out. It's holding really well. It's in play in the sense that it is part of the curriculum at this particular point that's working for um, the uh, overall, as I call it, the geopolitical economic uh, situation that we see. And therefore, it's in demand. So I like it. What you do right now, you took profits yesterday and then today it gaps up and has another big move up. Um, yeah, you, oh, it was opened at round number 435. That was an open, that was the open and the low of the day. And that just says to me that if uh, it's at 451, at any point in the next three, it's three sessions. So this is, it can't include today. It has to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So going to Friday at four o'clock, if this has not taken out on the downside 440 to 335 support, if it hasn't gone, it's just, in fact, it's held very well, then that's telling me that there's something even more uh, desirous of these, um, these defense. Now, what the, this is defense with a C, un, un, sorry, defense, defense. Unlike defensive stocks like uh, uh, Procter & Gamble or something like that, or McDonald's even, this is defense. This is the, the military side of it. And I'm just saying to you, this is in play. So if do, do you still have some position in it? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, $20 positive. Actually, I took your position yesterday on the close. Um, so I've, I've got all the Oh, so you did. Today. Okay, that's the opposite of what I was talking about. You actually took the position, so you were pleasantly surprised today. So what I'm going to say to you is, as an overall strategy, I'm just going to say to you, I don't know if you want to risk part of the $20, but I like your position. It's a little gutsy, but it was it was well thought out. And I'm just going to say I would rather see a pullback here and you add to that position. Treat that as a trading position. Treat this little one that you got yesterday. The one that you got yesterday is like a core position. And then trade off another one on any 5 or $6 pullback. Because if it goes to leg D, you can just keep your core and then use that other one as a trading position. I hope that helps you. That's great. Thank you very much, Basil. Have a great day. Thank you very much for calling. Let's go to Sharky and Natick Mass. Hi, Sharky. How are you? Hi, hi. Good morning, Basil. Um, good. I want to, uh, uh, you know, ask about ST and just the overall crude. And and I want to, you know, apologize. Maybe some of my medical recent medical uh, issues have. Uh, I have some uh, cloudy <laughs> eyes uh, looking well, at yeah, the chart. Well, I, but hope, SD, I hope you're feeling you know, a lot better. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, SD did go uh, to the. 14, 14 today is a high. Um, we spoke yesterday, and you thought it might get to the fourteen nineteen. Wait, I was wait, looking just, at wait, the uh, I'm sorry. left side, right uh, side. Can you give me give me the symbol again? I just don't have it in front of me. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It's uh, it, it's SD, SD. SD, right. Okay. For a minute, I thought you were saying SD, which is also a stock, but no. Yeah, okay. So this did exactly what we were talking about yesterday, right? So it went yeah, right to I, the, I, I didn't get into it a little cautious uh, because of the markets and the turmoil and, you know, that's going on. So I'm, okay. I'm not sure if it's too late. Earnings are coming out March 2nd uh, after the close. Oh, tomorrow. So, um, I'm see, sure they're going to be. You know. Yeah. I, whatever the whatever the estimates are, whatever the, whatever the results are, the estimates should be looking out, should be positive. So I'm just going to say to you. Just risk reward is up 69 cents. SD is the symbol S, letter S, D. Um, Sandwich Energy Inc., independent gas and oil company, develops and acquires uh, oil and gas products. So I, uh, properties, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm looking at at 1406, up 69. I like this very much. Um, it is bumping into resistance. It's really tough. Because I'm saying to you, you're on a risk of war, but it should be good. 
I mean, what if it comes out? I don't know when it'll come out before the market opens or after the market opens. It could have it easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll hang on. I'll hang on. Okay, hang on. And I'll finish up the super chat. Folks, the Dow is down 130. S&P is down 36. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So let me just say, uh, Phil, uh, because you were uh, talking about being a little cautious yesterday, here at 14.04, and with earnings coming out tomorrow, if you weren't, I would say to you, uh, if you had a position, I'd say, you know what? Even if it pulled back sharply, it's in a buy mode in the daily mm -hmm. chart and the monthly chart. I would start a small position, and if it explodes to the upside, that's great. If it pulls back, that's where you can start thinking of maybe now you want to add some. But because you stepped aside yesterday, why go to an extra uh, added um, uh, you know, situation now where yeah, all of yeah. a sudden the risk is higher of just maybe being wrong? I don't think you're going to be wrong if you were long. But just so I'm going to say maybe just step aside. If it does explode yep. to the upside, uh, you'll have to deal with it. But in the meantime, because you didn't do it yesterday when it was on yep. uh, an upside move, I wouldn't do it now just because earnings are coming no. in. And you just never know how it'll act. So hold off a little no, bit, no, okay? No, no, absolutely. How, how, how is, uh, how, you know, this continuation with, with crude, you know, uh, you know we're still going to see a, a, you know, pretty 
you know, pretty much strength and, and short supplies there, um, you know, going forward. Most likely that will, that will, uh, you know, uh, the, yeah. the contract will, will, will continue to, you know, to move on the, on the upward, uh, upward swing. Yes. So as I see it right now, because what, so actually it was very interesting. I'd mentioned the other day and I never actually followed through with it. I said stocks or anything that goes to the 95, 96 area, very often the next move up is rather quick and it goes to 103 to 105. Well, uh -huh. I didn't follow up because here it is. Today's high is 104.99. How close can you get? So once uh -huh. it does that, then it starts to get into an area that maybe it can consolidate. But this is something different. This is in play for this whole geopolitical situation. Thank you so much yeah. for calling, Paul. Have a great day. Yes, so, thank you. You so, as well. Thank you. Folks, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Larry Presenter coming up. I'll do the news. And that's Larry. Great programming. Oh, you want to hear programming today? Okay. So the guys down here, 25, but back in a moment for the news.